Probably one of the most frustrating thing about emails is finding that email that you can't remember where it is. How do you find emails? Well, Google uh, Gmail has an amazing search feature. So uh, up in the top box, there's a search mail button. It searches all the mails. Um, you actually can say not to search all the mails, but let's just see. So if I want to uh, type a word, just a keyword, if I'm trying to find an email, so I might have been invited to speak at a conference. So I can type in conference, C-O-N-F-E-R-E-N-C. -E -E. I can spell conference, and all the emails for the word conference has been in there, and there are 27 emails have, that use the word conference. So it does it very quick, by the way. And so, for example, here is a something about a conference uh, that somebody uh, emailed me about. You can take a look at emails about some kind of a conference. So that's 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 kind of cool. All right. So maybe that will help. You're still trying to find that email, but what if I know that somebody sent it to me? So one, there's a couple of, like cool codes. If I type in from colon and then put a name. So from some guy by the name of R. Bjork. Oh, hey, there's somebody that sends me emails all the time. And I click search mail. And any email that was sent by this guy, I've got them. And I've got 51 emails from a particular person. You can also even not just give the email address. You can say from John, which, of course, is me. So if I see from John, okay, well, lots of emails from me to me. I send emails to myself. I know that's weird. Okay. Uh, uh, so, but guess what? You can not just say from, you can say to. Who have I sent the emails to? So I can say, Elizabeth, oh, one of the choices. Oh, I, I can choose the choices down here. I typed E, and I got a number of choices. Okay. Um, so I can say emails I've sent to this particular person, and I click search, and here are all the emails I've sent to them. Or... I can just say, and I don't know quite their name, so I can type in to Carl. I don't, know, I don't, I don't think I've sent emails to Carl. So uh, who have I sent emails to that would be somebody who would be kind of an odd? How about Max? To Max. Okay, so here's the emails to some guy named Max. So I can find out those emails. And by the way, I may have sent an email, and then they've been CC'd to it. So that might be an interesting way to do that. So that's uh, this two. But there's lots of other codes. For example, subject. Uh, so here I said subject, v, so in the subject, the title VMath is in there, which is a subject I've been talking about. So if I know what the subject is, so there's lots of other codes. Um, you can also say label, and then you can say um, start, maybe, all the ones that are labeled. So there's an email that's starred. So just by typing the label, though that really is sort of a bit redundant. You could just, of course, click on the starred label over there. You can also do something where it says has. Well, what, what has what? Well, you could say has attachment. And so all the email that has attachments, did I misspell attachment? A-T-A attach e-ment. I can't spell. All those emails that have attachments are now uh, there. So there are 170 emails with attachment. I can say has attachment from um, uh, Martha. So let's see. Yeah, so all emails from this gal named Martha that have an attachment, I now got. So you don't have to do just one uh, parameter. You can say has and from. So you can do two of them together. Um, I can also even say file name. What email uh, that came from a file name that might be hall? It didn't work. The word hall is not. Maybe hallway. I think you had to, oh, there we go. So from Martha, I've got some emails that have some attachment that has the word hallway in it. So I know the word hallway was in there. So lots of cool features um, you can also do. You can also say um, um, even is. How about this one? Is um, unread. All right, I don't have any unread ones. So, but is red. I said that will be all the emails, so I'll have lots of ones. So there's lots of ways. Just gets pretty intuitive. You just kind of think about the search parameters. There's actually cheat sheets on the internet, and uh, if you want those, I can show you where those are, um, uh, and you can figure out. Just frankly, if you just Google here, I'll just go to regular Google. I right? just Google.com, and um, I think what I would search for is uh, Gmail search list and then using advanced 
search lists. Um, probably this first one right here. Yep, here we go. Here's a here from to subject or hyphen list file name. A lot of these things you can kind of look at. It has a blue star, has a green star, um, CC. Um, so if you want to do that after, oh, after and before, we didn't do that. So if it, we know the email was after something and then before something, um, it's been delivered to, you know, lots of different uh, search parameters that will save you a boatload of time trying to find those lost emails.